things settling down on the bottom? Well, there's a massive research effort that's actually looking at the water column from the seafloor uh, at, at beyond 5,000 feet uh, all the way through to the surface. And do we know what proportion of the oil is there then? We don't at this point in time, but what we do know is well, it's, rapidly the state... biodeg it's, it's rapidly biodegrading. Sorry to interrupt, but the statement a few weeks ago did say that three quarters of it had gone. Right. So, but we don't know that for sure. We're, we, we know, we, we can estimate based upon that scientific data and that understanding as it continues to mature that the vast majority of this that wasn't captured mechanically, that wasn't evaporated and dispersed, was then spread into the water column. The plume is actually disappearing. The plume is being biodegraded, that there is a new form of microbiology that is, is attacking this plume and using it as a food source. Just to bring it back to the... Okay, sorry. Thanks, oh. Okay. Right, you Thank enough? you. I've got a lot. Well, no, no, I really, yeah, really? don't, Brendan. It's very kind of you. Thanks very much. Thank you. I, Thank I, you I, so much. Extent, you're one of the busiest men on the planet. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank thanks, care, thanks. We appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> there was so much I wanted to ask him. I was, I was just exploding with frustration. He's very good. Finish it off. He's got the right answers. But, you know, the next question was... You know, okay, that's all very well. It's sort of about clearing what you can see, but it's what you can't see. One of the big questions is what what are they doing about dispersant they use? But, I mean, listen, uh, let's be honest, this guy doesn't think of himself as a villain. He's desperately trying to do the right thing by his company and therefore, and he knows that to do the right thing by his company, he's got to do the right thing uh, by public opinion. The public opinion won't buy anything other than what is seen to be a massive investment and commitment. <laughs> of he knows not. that. And so, I, you know, I don't think he goes home and says, ha ha, I fooled the public. No, I'm not, I don't think that at all, but it's, it's yeah. a brilliant PR exercise. And what's actually below the surface, physically and metaphorically, is what really upsets me. A when you, when you say you can't believe it, do you seriously imagine that any other outcome than this? No, the good thing is that um, he did accept that that statement that was made publicly and was in all the press just a couple of weeks yeah. ago, that three quarters of the oil is gone, did at least say that's, yeah. we don't know, that's not yeah. necessarily true. Yeah. More complicated than BP are simply died in the one villains who are trying to obscure what they're doing. It's more complicated than that. Oh, they're just good guys doing a proper job. It's, I'm afraid. it's human shaped. It's not, you know, it's 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 not fiction shaped. It's uh, it's got all the messiness of a real crisis. And that's a mixture of incompetence, courage, failure, you know, stupidity, brilliance. All these things come together in 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 in, in the way that they always do with human beings. Um, and, but uh, I still believe the oil companies are the villains to a large degree.